resolve, providing for an investigation and study by a special commission relative to the existential threat posed by nuclear weapons to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons was passed and it went into effect this January 22nd, which is exciting news, except of course the United States is st has still not ratified the treaty. So this legislation uh, takes a slightly different approach and we say, all right, well the United States has not ratified the treaty, we are not participating, but what can the state of Massachusetts do? What are the components that we on our own could implement so that we as a state, as a commonwealth, would be in line with that treaty? even even if the rest of the United States is not quite ready to do this. So the bill very simply sets up a commission that would go through and figure out what are the components we as a state can do. I see this work very much as a um, next step because last session we passed a home rule petition for the city of Northampton where they decided they were no longer going to contract with manufacturers of nuclear weapons, people who maintained, um, did, did any sort of work with marketing for nuclear weapons and so it was a disqualification of bidders. It was a way for the city to try to align itself in, in small part with the treaty um, but it was a small step. This is the next the next step on that rung. So I am I think much much like Rep. Aliguardo trying to take an approach of how do we actually get this through because it's a very common sense piece of legislation. It's a very common sense idea.